was kind of abrupt. But it's off. There we go. It worked. Hey, everybody. Jason Akers, Green Acres Pest Control. I have a comment <clears throat> that I get all the time. These are my comments right there on all my videos. And I stopped approving these messages a long time ago because I get so many of them. There's so many of them already listed on my video. But I have a video on diatomaceous earth. Let me show you what it looks like. So, sorry, just to start right in on everything today. But I want to go over this. So if we go to does dia All right, does diatomaceous earth work? All right, this video right here, okay? Does diatomaceous earth work? Does it work? The truth, all right? This video right here, okay? On this video, I talk about DE, and I talk about why you should not use it for bugs, the harm it can cause you internally. And a lot of people like to leave comments on this video, and they like to talk about how they eat it, or how their pets, they feed it to their pets, or they use it on their cats for fleas, or whatever. Um, but I want to explain some things about DE that I honestly think people just turn the video off and they don't watch the whole video all the way through. But diatomaceous earth, when taken orally, as far as science is concerned, it does not harm you, okay? They have not found where it does. They have found that it can help with parasites and stuff like that. This is what people say, okay? I'm not a doctor, but doctors have told me personally that inhalation, inhaling diatomaceous earth powder into your lungs is very harmful to your lungs. Now, your lung tissue is not the same as your stomach tissue or your intestinal tissue. So you got to understand that breathing in things into your lungs can cause your lungs to operate poorly or can cause you, you know, long-term effects. This is the problem with diatomaceous earth. People take it for bed bugs. They spread it all over their bed, all over their mattress, all over their box spring. I've even seen people put it all over their pillows and then put their pillowcase on thinking they're safe. Okay? It is a dust. Dusts permeate into the air. Dust in your home is in the air right now while I'm sitting here talking to you tonight. Um, you will breathe dust into your lungs, okay? Diatomaceous earth specifically is diatoms, which are small, teeny, tiny crustaceans, okay? They uh, shred and, and cut up bugs when the bugs crawl across them. It causes their exoskeleton to get little microabrasions that then cause the bug to dehydrate. That's how diatomaceous, kill, uh, diatomaceous earth kills bugs. But the problem is, is that when you inhale it into your lungs, it's not safe for inhalation. So when you're laying in your bed, a little bit may not hurt you at all, but when you're laying in your bed and you're surrounded by it everywhere and you're putting it around your baseboards and you're putting it on your floor and you're putting it in your carpet and you're putting it everywhere, okay? And if you put it fine powder, like a very fine powder like you're supposed to, Every time a fan blows, every time you walk through the room, every time um, you know you open a door or a window, the air will stir the dust up and you will breathe it in. And if you're laying on it in your bed, you're breathing it in all night long. That is where diatomaceous earth harms people. Okay, I know of people that have taken it orally and it hasn't hurt them at all. But inhalation is not the same as ingestion. So I just want to mention that. Before I get started, because there's a there's a comment right now. It says, first you say it's not safe, then you say it's a horrible thing. I'm not sure which one you're standing by. I gave my dog DE orally, and it completely helped her. So I want to explain that I just wanted to go over that before, you know, I continue on with the live stream, in case they're in here tonight, in case they're watching the video. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to go over that. I just want to explain and no, I don't work for Monsanto. I'm not trying to, you know, poison people with pesticides. I'm not trying to sell pesticides over diatomaceous earth. I don't care. You know, honestly, it's not. it doesn't hurt my business. 
if you do or don't use diatomaceous earth. That's, that's not the point. The whole point is just that I want you to be safe when applying pesticides in your home and around your children and around your family. So, anyway. Um, I mean, Joe, all right, can you take water orally? Of course. It's delicious. Look, I got water right here. It's water. Let me show you. All right. Water. Okay. Water. Watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nummy, nummy, nummy went right into my tummy. That stuff goes in my lungs. I'm going to be sitting here going, oh. <laughs> there are some things you can put in your belly that, that would absolutely kill you if you put them into your lungs. So, that's what I'm trying to get at. Oh. Oh, but please like the video. Please, thank you. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. But I'd like a like. Like, like, like. Anyway. So, how's everybody doing? Is everybody doing all right? I read every comment. You know, when I tell you I read every comment, I read every single comment. Every single comment on every single one of my videos, I read every, every one. Even the ones that are like 15 paragraphs long. I read them all. I read them all. Yes, DE is not a very good idea for bed bugs. Even the video we watched that we critiqued the, the other day that I'm not going to come on here and talk about right now because if I do, YouTube doesn't like me to talk about it, even though it's... I mean, I'm giving the guy complete credit for the video. Um, but the... Oh, thank you, Teresa. Um, he tried to, he's basically selling diatomaceous earth and heat treatments, and neither one of those I would recommend at all. In fact, a lot of people that hang out here in my chat have tried both, and neither one has worked. I should not be drinking coffee. It's 9.30. But I am, because I'm tired. I'm sleepy. But anyway... My nose is itchy. I'm not picking my nose. This is Bob Ross. For those that don't know, this is Bob Ross. He hangs out on top of my cowbell. Because everybody knows you need more cowbell. It does not have a tongue in it. It doesn't have a whatever they call it. A knocker. It doesn't have a knocker in it. I have to hit it. Isn't that beautiful? The stream has begun. There we go. That's my cowbell. So. Oh, my goodness gracious. My son makes really good coffee. Very good coffee. I put awards up on my wall tonight. I moved some stuff around. My hoard, so so this, this is my hoard picture because I play World of Warcraft. This is my alliance picture right there because my wife made me play alliance because she likes, she's a girl. And then... I've got my trophies. I don't know if you can see them or not. This one is from 1990. This one right here. And this one is from 1993. This is second place, and that's third place for fishing. I like to fish. At least I used to like to fish. I don't like to fish much anymore. Why do I like Bob Ross? Who does not like Bob Ross? Um, but I have, I paint when I have time. 
I haven't painted in years. My wife actually wants me to paint her a picture. But I uh, used to watch Bob Ross when I was little. And I would paint all the time. I used to paint similar styles to Bob Ross. I've got his paintbrushes and knives and all that stuff. And I used to paint a lot like him when I was younger. In fact, I was probably 15 or 16 when I painted my mother a landscape for Mother's Day. So, I, um, in fact, I think it's probably still over at their house, at my, at my parents' house. So, are you going to go see that movie with Owen Wilson as Bob Ross? Have you seen that, Alicia? Yeah, it's not Bob Ross. It's, it's Bob. It's Bob Ross esque. Yeah, it's not Bob Ross. It's like oh, it's like uh, what's that guy's? What's he always say? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, you guys, let's go see a movie about Bob Ross. If you want to take me to it, I wouldn't protest. I guess I could take you to a movie. But I don't know. There are probably gonna be better movies. If it had actually been about Bob Ross, I would have been ecstatic. Yeah, I would have liked to know. Like, I would watch, I would totally watch, like, a biography on Bob Ross. That would be really interesting to watch. Uh -huh. Bedlam kind of works, Shaw. It kind of works, but not as much as it used to. It used to work better. Crossfire works better. If you can get Crossfire, I recommend that. If you, the only thing you can get is Bedlam, then you can get that, but Crossfire works better than Bedlam. I have a, I have like, I don't know if it's attention deficit. Is it attention deficit when disorder when you see things sitting around and you have to pick them up and move them around and shift around when you're doing something else? <laughs> I think you do have a little bit of ADD, yes. I think I must. I must have ADD. Just a little bit. That happy little brush got me through some things. <laughs> I like Bob Ross. I've got, actually, actually, let me see if I can move my mic. Let me see if I can. I think it's in this door right here. Let me see. No, it's not in there. Where is it? See, I've got this, these this stuff around here. I mean, this is my set of pencils. Now, I paint with Crayola pencils. Not paint, color. I color with Crayola pencils. I have to keep these with my bed bugs. Thank you, Joe. Five subs. If you got a gifted sub from Joe, say thank you, Joe. I appreciate that, Joe. But these are my colored pencils. And one day, I was thinking, I was really thinking about it, considering doing a art stream on TikTok. Because I know this people do that, if TikTok's even still around in the next, you know, few weeks or months or whatever. But um, I was actually considering drawing and painting Maybe, maybe doing some art on a stream. Just something that doesn't have to do with bugs. Maybe I'll paint a picture of a bug. Maybe that. I like my job too much. And that's good coffee. All gone. My son made me a flat white and it was delicious. Mm. Are you jealous? That sounds good. Crossfire has been the only thing that has given me any peace at all. I just hope it continues to work really well. For me and for everyone else who uses it. Let's see if I can, I wonder if I can lower this. Can I lower this out? Pull it out maybe. I really try hard to make my sound sound good. I was actually considering, let me turn my, let's do it like that. What is this hanging up there? Was that? It's catching something hanging there. Oh, that's my microphone. This is my microphone. This is my pop filter, see? Fancy. So you might be able to see it in the... In the... I'm trying my best to get a decent sound so people can hear me talk when I talk. And I know it picks up a lot of background noise, but I'm in a house. I'm not in a studio. I don't have the ability to hide a whole bunch of background... Background noisin'. Noises. Noisin'. Noisin'? Noisy. Happy belated birthday to Emma. Yes, Jennifer. It's not belated yet. Emma will be 10 years old on the 27th. So she's got four more days. 
So you did not, you aren't late, you are early. Four more days. She'll be here in a minute. I think she's going to come and hang out with us tonight. I think. She's supposed to. She's supposed to. We gave her a wink. So what we do in my house, I don't know if I've told this on stream. I'm going to tell it again, even if I have told it before. But when Rory was little and Emma was a baby, Rory would sit in the room beside her room and he would listen for her because the way our house was divided up. And we would give him a wink that when she went to sleep, he could get up and play a game. Or, you know, come and hang out with us or whatever. Because he was older. He's like eight years older than she is. And so we would let him get up. She had to think that he was going to bed too. That he could get up and sneak out and hang out with us for a little while before his bedtime. And so Emma does the same thing with Charlie now. So Charlie is four and he's afraid to sleep by himself. So she will sleep in the room and, and, well, she will sleep, and then he will fall asleep, and then she'll, she'll say, uh, she'll come to us now, and she'll say, so, do I have to go to bed tonight? And wink like that. And uh, she got a wink tonight, so she could get up and come and hang out with us a little bit. I like when Emma comes down and hangs out with us on the live streams. <sighs> Joe said that um, the funny thing about Bob Ross is that all of his paintings were actually uh, locations of his victims. <laughs> oh, what are we going to talk tonight, peeps? You know, we could talk about things other than bed bugs. Just so you know. And if, let's see, let's do this. All right, so this is my channel, okay? We'll go, these are the videos. I was trying to find a video for somebody, but let's go here. If you have not subscribed, you should. I would appreciate it, and you can hang out with us and chill out with us and stuff. Every night you get a notification when I'm live. You get notifications when my videos go live. My latest video is about bed bugs. Um, surprise, surprise. And it's a step-by-step -step guide to elimination. It's supposed. It's a pretty good video. I've, I've really tried hard to make it a good video. Um, but that's my latest video. But if you haven't subscribed already, you should. But also, I have... What have I done? I was something I was gonna say. Now I can't remember what it was. Let me see. I think it has to do with the links in the description of my videos. If you do show more, you got Crossfire link, my course on bed bugs, uh, B and G. Does that even still work? Let me see. Yeah, it does. I need to get one of those. I actually need to buy one of those. Um, TikTok. Um, you can schedule a time to talk to me privately if you want to do that. It's right here. All of my videos have these same links, and there's something on here. I can't even remember what it was now. Oh, well, I can't remember. So, there goes my brain for the day. Someone asked about larder beetles. Hmm. Let's look up larder beetles. I'm not sure exactly what those are. Oh, yes. It's a commercial pest. Household pest. Yes, yes, yes. I never call them that. I just call them grain beetles for short. They get into grains and stuff. Isn't that correct? Isn't that what they do? Let me see. Let's go to Penn State University and see what they do. The larder be beetle is a commercial pest as well as a household pest. This is a uh, cosmopolitan species, which is historically a pest of cured meats in Europe. Okay, so they like meat. I've seen these before. However, these beetles are still common in homes, museums, mills, livestock facilities. Also, pantry items can become infested. Yeah, see, I thought so. The larvae of the larder beetle then feed on dead insects. 
So they get into like dog food and stuff. So the way that I deal with grain beetles, you know, grain beetles, um, meal moths. I uh, I take the all the stuff out of the cabinets, look through everything, throw away everything that's infested, treat the cabinets, wait till it dries, put everything back. That's the way I get rid of those. Also. I, uh, I seal things up in plastic bags that may or may not be infested because you don't know uh, if you can't find anything in them. And I put those in the cabinets as well so they're in plastic bags. And then uh, that way, um, if, if they hatch out of anything, you can see them in the bag, you throw the bag away. And you don't infest anything else in your cabinets. Someone did ask about a roach treatment. Yep. Yep. Oh. Someone did ask me about a roach treatment. They were asking about cockroaches on one of my videos. And I wanted to go over, I wanted to show you. So I do have cockroach videos. If someone was asking about, um, actually, I'm going to switch over to that one. I like that one better. They were asking about cockroaches. So I have videos on how to get rid of German cockroaches. Four easy steps. How to get rid of German cockroaches right here. So I recommend watching that video. So if Don't you have problems, another. there's an ad. If you have a problem with getting rid of roaches, you should go watch this video. This is the best one. And it goes over baiting and everything. Everything you want to know about killing cockroaches is in that video. I recommend you go watch that one. How's the bunny? The bunny is good. I have not gotten a decent bunny camera yet. I used my ring camera and it didn't work out so well. It kept refreshing and kept wanting to shut off. And so I'm going to get a camera that plugs in right beside the bunny's cage. And I'm going to let y'all watch the bunny. Does steaming kill bed bugs? It does if you can hit them with them. You have to hit them with them. Um, steam will not kill bed bugs long term. Because once you turn the steamer off, there's no longer heat to kill the bugs. So you need a pesticide. Pesticide's more effective. Um... I just ordered a B&G sprayer. My wife's going to kill me, said Joe. <laughs> it's a good sprayer. It's a good sprayer. I actually just uh, upgraded my sprayer. I took my um, I took my B&G. Hey, Kenji, thank you for the $5. I, uh, I took my uh, Crossfire B&G and actually upgraded the wand from a brass wand to a stainless steel wand. And I made some videos. I might put together a how-to, like like maintenance kind of thing, a do-it-yourself thing, on how to upgrade stuff like that and fix stuff like that. Uh, Paper Sense says, I was going to ask what other games do I play besides World of Warcraft? So let's see what's in my Steam library. Because I am a gamer, but not just Steam. So right now... I have Rust, I have Seven Days to Die, Day of the Tentacle Remastered, EverQuest, uh, Final Fantasy 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 10 too. So those are all Final Fantasy games because I'm, I'm a nerd. I have The Forest, I have New World, I have uh, Planet Coaster, Portal 1 and 2 because... The cake is a lie. I have Raft. I have RPG Maker, because I'm a nerd. And Sam and Max Hit the Road. So that's what's in my Steam library now. I have some things on like a wish list that I'd like to get that they always send me. They're like, hey, you remember this is on your wish list. You might want to get this now. And I'm like, nah, I'm not going to buy that right now. I'm not in the mood to play a new game right now. But I love King's Quest. I like uh, Space Quest, Sierra games. That's what I grew up playing. Um... I like uh, Nintendo, I have a Nintendo Switch, I have a Game Boy, I have, in fact, I think I have one of those systems right here. Well, here's my original DS that, actually, the case broke, the, uh, the top, the lid broke, and I had to buy a new little thing for it. So this is an old DS. This is the DS... Um, this is before it was a 3DS. This is just a DS. So, 
It's got the Game Boy Advance right there. It's got the DS cartridge slot right there. And yeah, this has seen a lot of love right here, my DS. I also have, um, I have a, an original NES, original Super Nintendo there over there, hooked up to my TV. I have a PS1, PS, I used to have a PlayStation 2, lost that in my divorce from my ex-wife. Um, uh, PlayStation 3, 4, Rory, my son, has the 4. Um, I have a lot of SNES games. I really like Earthbound. I have that one over there. I have, um, you know, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario RPG, stuff like that. So, I like Halo. Halo's alright. Halo's alright. If you got good people to play with, I, uh, sometimes Halo can be kind of a pain in the butt if you got crappy people to play with. Have you ever played a Total War game? No, but I've played Counter-Strike. Um, very much into factory building games like Factorio. Playing Dyson Sphere program right now. I've never played that. I like Minecraft. Truthfully. I can't turn this into a gaming stream. I actually thought I might turn my Twitch channel into a gaming stream and just game over there if anybody ever follows me on Twitch. I do have a Twitch. Rome 2 Total War? My wife likes to play... What's that game? Civilization? Um, the Sims? She plays Rust now because she likes to kill people. Running a company gets stressful, so she likes to go in and kill people in, in, uh, in video games. Um, my son, he likes to play things like Modern Warfare. Um... So yeah, we're a gamer family. Grew up playing video games. Uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, stuff like that. So, I have original Sega, yeah. I actually sold my original Sega. I don't have that anymore, but I really didn't care a lot. I have the emulator, the little, the little Sega Mini thing. But, um... And that's got the game, all the games I really want to play on it. So... And I have the PS... I have this. This is pretty cool. This is my, um... Sony PlayStation Mini thing, whatever. It's got HDMI, and uh, Sony actually released this. It's uh, really pretty neat. And I play... I actually um, modded it to play some games that they didn't have on it. I actually have the boxes, too. And I'm like, I'm going to put those games on there. So I have Silent Hill, and Final Fantasy VII came on it, but I do have Silent Hill... And a couple of other games that were not on it, that should have been on it. Parasite Eve, some good games. Do I like Star Wars? Uh, Star Wars, okay. There's There's been some games from Star Wars that really sucked. And there were some games that were really good. But uh, I got a new Atari recently. The games are awesome. Atari is good. I like, I like old school, like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Pong, Arkanoid, um, Breakout, Super Breakout, um... Asteroids, Space Invaders, um, the Tank Commander's good, where you go around and you kill people with tanks. But I do have a Switch. I have the, um, my wife bought me, I have the, orig like the original old school Switch. I actually gave it to Charlie when it first came out with Legend of, I bought Legend of Zelda um, Breath of the Wild for that. But I, um, my wife bought me when the new Pokemon games, I do like Pokemon. But my wife bought me when the new ones came out, Scarlet and Sapphire. She bought me the set, the OLED one. And so I've actually got that sitting oh, up there. You can see. Um, my top monitor for my computer actually doubles as a television. So it's right here, up there. So I can plug all of my old game systems up to that and play them here and just go play at my computer if I want. So if I'm camping a rare spawn or something in World of Warcraft, I'll sit here and play like Pokemon or something like that. One of my favorite games as a kid was Master Blaster or Blaster Master on NES. That's a good game. I have not played Jurassic Park Chaos. This has become a, a gaming... See see now, Kristen, this has become a game, a game stream. See, we, I was asking her in the Discord tonight. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, y'all should follow me on Discord. Y'all should hang out on Discord with me. So, if you go to my video, like the live stream tonight, like let's go to the live stream. See, like there that. I am. Look at that sexy beast. Anyway, if you go down here, 
and you click show more and the discord link is here okay it's right there i'll highlight it copy it and i'll paste it to the chat you guys should join on discord um if you ever have a question about bugs or you just want to hang out and talk talk about all kinds of stuff uh just to give you an idea of what the discord looks like there's the discord there right there oops and so this is all this is from chatting today we've got uh general bed bugs cockroaches spiders termites memes memes there's some memes in there uh fleas rats and mice i've got the members only channel for youtube members i've got business talk where you can talk about business i've got ants and gamer talk so you can talk about video games if you like games like me and also i can do live i can talk live on general chat i can pull up my general and i can talk to you um while i play games or while i'm driving like a cell phone kind of and we can talk so i recommend hitting the discord and joining up discord if you have not already so have you ever played age of empires have you ever played age of empires with alicia joe I've got it somewhere. But I don't think I've ever played it. I think it was one of yours. I don't think I... No, I've never played Age of Empires. Maybe we don't have it. I thought well, we had you it. You might have bought it for me because I used to play... It was... I don't know. There was a game that you played... I can't remember which one it was. That was a, a Conquer game. Um... So I'll tell you a good game one. that you still have not gotten. Rome. Oh yeah, Rome's Rome's yeah, okay. Rome's, I used to play Command and Conquer at Rome a lot. That was like the style of game I used to really. I think play. I personally think Warcraft mm -hmm. or Starcraft are better than Command and I Conquer. I tried playing. Um, I love Starcraft. I Starcraft, Starcraft is phenomenal. And Warcraft, but I just really. Thank you, liked Gabe. Command and Conquer was just kind of like the first, uh, what do they call it, like tower defense sort of game that I'd ever played. And so for me, I guess it's a little bit nostalgic to me. So Aaron says that I should invent a really cool RPG about a pest control operator with a really cool storyline. <laughs> I've done that. I've, uh, I've actually written stories and tried to put them into video games, but it's it takes a lot to do a game. And I've got the programs and stuff to to make video games and I've got a lot of programming knowledge but I just I don't have that kind of time maybe one day when I get old I'll do it but I prefer to write stories I write stories for my children I have uh, I write comic books I've got a whole binder up there full of comics that I've written since I was 12 and I like to you know write different things I, I like to write fiction and uh I, I could probably do an rpg or something like that that would be fun of a pest control guy but mortal Kombat on the n64 i'll tell you what's fun on n64 is clay fighter 63 and a third that is a fun game that is a hilarious game for people who like fighters like mortal Kombat, clay fighters where it's at it's good I did just get the new Super Met the Metroid, the Metroid Prime. I did get that for the uh, when I could find a, a hard copy. I found one at the GameStop local here, and I do have that, but I haven't even had a chance to turn it on. I just, I love the old, old games. I don't find new games very much fun anymore. That's why I play, like, World of Warcraft. It's a 20-some-year-old game, and it still plays like a 20-some-year-old game. And so it's got that type of, maybe I'm just nostalgic for the older game style. But I just play, I, I like to play old ROMs. I like to play um, like Chippendale Rescue Rangers. So the NES, perfect game, great game. Love that game. DuckTales, also a good game. Um, Me Mega Man, hard games. Games that were so hard, you want to, rather than finish the game, you want to get up and leave the house for a little bit because you get so angry you want to throw a controller through the window. Those are the games I like to play because I feel like I'm not sitting there playing it all day because I get frustrated and I leave. So... And WoW is something you can just pick up anytime and just play. You know, I, I was playing. I was actually went and was helping some friends do a um, a raid, a Lich King raid, trying to get Shadowmorn tonight right before stream. So something I can do and try to help people where I can. Except uh, we were with this shaman and she just kept messing up. 
You might need to preface that with your kidding. What? You might need to preface that with your kidding. Huh? Do you need to preface that and say you're kidding? I'm kidding? It was a shaman. Huh? Kidding? It was a shaman. It was a shaman. It was a Pandaren shaman. Come on now. A Pandaren shaman. Kept messing up. She knows I'm kidding. I think. We won't mention who killed the boss, she said. Because I killed the boss. I screwed up. That it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I tab targeted and killed the boss. I've done that before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so aggravating. What happened to Zelda? Zelda's good. Look at this. I'll show you some Zelda. This is a Game & Watch. It's got... Um, the Legend of Zelda, Link, and let me see, I think it's got, I think it's got the one, uh, Link's Awakening too. Hold on, how do I get it on? Let me see. This is really neat. Yeah, I'll show you. See? Zelda. And so you can play, let's see if I can play it. Legend of Zelda. I don't know how to turn the sound up, though. I think you have to have... How do you get the sound to work? It's got sound, I think. I think it has sound. Does it have sound? Maybe it doesn't. I would think it has sound. Oh, well. Turn it off for now. Put it back. Uh, my mom. So I'll tell you a story about myself. So my mother is... She's been passed away for nine years. She died at 53 years old. My mom used to play the original Legend of Zelda. Alright, for the NES. Old school Legend of Zelda. I have that gold cartridge right over there. Alright? Alright. Her save file is still there. And I will not, like, overwrite it. Because it's my mom's save file. From when she used to play Legend of Zelda when I was a kid. And it is still in there. It's still in there. So... I don't know about that comment, Jason. Which comment did I make? Did I say something I wasn't supposed to make? The owner of the company I work for has a 70-year-old husband who's retired to plays PC games all day. Drives her crazy. You know, I used to have one of the coolest customers. And she was 70-plus. And we used to trade games back and forth. So, I don't see it, Jennifer. I'm sorry, I missed it. I don't see it. It didn't come up for me. Um, I'll tell you what I have that's interesting for I wish I had the eye guard for it but I have a virtual boy it's in storage um, with Wario Land and a couple other games for it I have a Game Boy printer and a Game Boy camera so since I was little. But the NES I have was the one I used to play with my mom on years ago. And I've actually replaced the, the cartridge reader on it.
I have two kids, so no time for games anymore. You know what you do, Aaron? You teach your children to play games. That's what you do. Let's see if I can get a picture up of Charlie. I think it's on the Discord, actually. Is it on Discord? It's just a picture of Finley trying to play Oh, Finley. Play. Finley's what I mean. Finley's what I mean. That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. Hold on. Let me show you. There's Finley. So, Finley was sitting here hitting his mouse with his arm and hitting whatever key he wanted to on the keyboard playing Minecraft today. So that's, he's my, he's my uh, one-year-old. He will be two in October. So he's only a year and a half. Charlie is four. He plays Minecraft all the time. Charlie loves Minecraft. He likes Legos, though. You know, Minecraft is a game that appeals to people who love to build with Legos. So he loves Minecraft. I like Minecraft. I play Minecraft all the time with my kids. So there's Finley playing Minecraft. And he's my youngest, and he's not even two years old yet. Uh, Emma used to do the same thing when she was little. She used to play it on the Wii U gamepad. Back when we had the Wii U, she played, uh, she played Minecraft on that. So, in fact, that's the first system we ever had Minecraft on was the Wii U. And then we got it for PC and played with everybody. I've got three, six, and thir got six and 13 grandkids. I still play video games all day. <laughs> I like games. You know, when you work all day... Come here, Emma. See, lean in. Lean in like this. See? This is my girl. This is my little baby. She's going to be 10 in four days. 10 years old. <laughs> On the 27th. On the 27th. Smile. There you go. Thank you. The children yearn for the mines. We went and took them out of the mines, and now they're, they're yearning to go back. They play Minecraft, Mom. Yeah. See, we did a wrong... That's a bad thing. We went and took them out of the mines, and now all they want to do is just go back. Emma's almost 10. Yes, she's almost 10. She was a little baby once. She's not a baby anymore. Not a baby anymore. But I have other babies. I, I, I love all my babies. I have babies. I got some old stuff, man. I've got this awesome video of Mario. Let me see if I can show you guys. I, it's really old. It's a classic. Let's see. Let me turn the sound on so y'all can hear it. All right, you ready? It's small because it was filmed on an Android. That is Rory. <laughs> and this is Rory now. Hi. <laughs> You have to have... You need to not bang that, Emma. I know, I know. You have to have a lot of children, so as they grow up, you control them. Not control, just troll. But Finley is the youngest. Charlie is four. So Emma... So, so Rory is 18. Emma is 10. Charlie is four, and Finley is one. Finley's the baby. But Rory is actually Italian. He is Italian. For real. He's got Italian Italian bloodlines. Kristen said we need to create our own raid team. Yes. So I treated an apartment for German roaches with Alpine WSG the other day. I didn't want to use a full gallon. How do you mix if you want to just use half gallon or less? Well, you just mix it based on, on grams. 
So, if you're not mixing a whole tank and you're just mixing like say a half a gallon, so what you do is let's let's look at the label of, of Alpine because that's actually a pretty good question. Let's let's do that. So let's close that down and let's go to Alpine to the SG label. All right. So for roaches, let's scroll down and find roaches. Okay. So roaches is 10 to 30 grams. Now, personally, I use 30 grams for roaches because I like to use nice and strong. All right, that's what I use for cockroaches, for German cockroaches, okay? So if you're gonna mix a half a gallon, then you're gonna use 15 grams. So that's pretty easy. It's just divided in half. And if you, a third of a gallon is only 10 grams. So that's what I do. to answer that question. Um, hey, Elite, nice to see you. Nice to see that you are here. First time on your live. Well, I hope you're ready for the ride. <laughs> Buckle up, buckaroo. I like that episode of South Park. That's probably one of my favorites. I'm suspecting that I have had bed bugs for a while, but no signs and haven't seen a single bug but bites here and there. I have Alpine WSG and Plastic Garden Sprayer. Can I effectively treat with it? You can, but it doesn't sound like you have bed bugs if you haven't seen anything. Just bug bites is not reason to think that you have actual bed bugs. Just because you're getting bug bites doesn't mean you have bed bugs. If you haven't seen any or any bites, you probably don't have them. Exactly right. Bites can be anything. Bites can be allergic reactions. Bites can be stress-related. So I wanted to go over this. I actually probably need to do another video on this. But people will give themselves bites. Um, the stress, especially if you've had bed bugs before in the past, the stress that they can cause can be pretty horrendous. And if you are dealing with a high stress level, you can actually cause hives and bumps to come up on your body just like real bug bites. Even though it's not bug bites, it's actually stress causing it. So don't just assume that if you have bites that, that it's bed bugs. It may not be. Um, what I would recommend is getting a uh, bed bug dog and you know, hiring someone with a bed bug dog and having the bed bug dog come in and do a checkup on your place. So. What are you doing, Rory? Looking for in this mouse pad. Oh, you're looking for a mouse pad? Okay, you found it. I was going to say, you can have this one right here. The ceiling stuff... I don't know what that strip is, is, honestly. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, no. That's a new van. Let me see. Is this what's actually in Vapona, though? No, it's not. Oh, wait a minute. It is. Yeah, I would not recommend doing that at all. So, the problem with Vapona, and I'll, I'll just show you what I'm, what I'm looking at. So, um, this is Vapona right here this is the chemical makeup this is on wikipedia take it with a grain of salt but it's true this is this is what it is it's vapona um vapona is a very deadly chemical um it's deadly to to humans it can kill you i don't recommend using it in fact it's a, if you had the pesticide itself it's restricted use you're not even allowed to buy it unless you have a license um now they sell it in new van strips so new van strips are like these things, all right? New van, you know, these little strips that you hang up, hot shot, you know, whatever. It's a, it's new van strips is what it is. Like new van pro strips here. 
and you get them, they're blue, and you hang them up in a closet or something like that. Uh, that's what they're for, okay? Uh, people will take these, and they will put them in big black garbage bags and seal their stuff in them, thinking that it's going to kill the bugs. It, they don't work, and they'll just make you sick, because if the va gas were to get out in a room with you in it, it, w it can hurt you. It can kill you. Vapona is very deadly. Do not use those. So... My last treatment was February. I was seeing nothing at all. Then out of nowhere, I saw a bed bug crawling, and I lost it. February 1st, I saw the bed bug two weeks ago, and that was in March. Yeah, you might need to treat again. Uh, Crossfire is not accessible here. So, hmm. So, Paper Synth actually called last week, right? You're the girl that called last week to talk to me. Um, there are people that get crossfire in Canada. I, uh, I don't want to say that... I don't want to advise you to go against customs and risk losing something in customs because you know how it is, but I know people who have gotten crossfire in Canada. They typically order it from Walmart.com, and a private seller sells it to you. I can't sell it, but because I don't do I don't do retail. People will call me and they'll ask me to send them things like pesticides and stuff like that, and I can't do that. I'm not able to do that. Um, let's see. I do spider control for big paper mill next to a river, uh, and struggle to control their spiders. Tried fast cap and web out, but uh, not huge success. Any tips? I have never, ever, ever had a problem where Onslaught Fast Cap didn't work. I mean, I think I'm like, it's a miracle to me. I think Onslaught Fast Cap is freaking amazing. It is fantastic. So I have no idea why you're having such a problem. I do sweep webs, though. I do go around with a Weber with like a 20, I think it's like a 30 foot extension pole to get down as many webs as I possibly can and crush all the babies, egg sacs, and stuff like that. But that just does an amazing job. Temperate can work. Now, if you use temperate, you have to treat every two weeks. But you need to, you need to treat. If, if, you, if temperate is all you can get in Canada, then you can use temperate. Temperate will work. But you have to treat pretty often. Don't, don't go... Too far, too, don't space out your treatments too far because you'll end up breeding a chemical resistant bed bug. So you need to stretch it out. You need not stretch it out. I'm sorry, you need to use it within seven to 10 days. Seven to 10 days apart, you treat with temperate. So that's how you treat with temperate. Don't, don't skip a week. Don't go three weeks. Don't go four weeks. Do it once every two weeks. Well, if you go for three months and you still have bed bugs after that, you probably have a chemical resistant strain, but I doubt it. I doubt it. You should get rid of them if you're doing every two weeks, even on your own. You should be able to. But temperate is not a bad chemical. You know, I know I've talked bad about temperate. I talk bad about exterminators because mainly because they overuse it. But temperate is a really good pesticide for things like ants. It's really good for ants. It's good for cockroaches. It's good for bed bugs, but only, I mean, you have to treat all the time. You, that's the problem. When you use Crossfire, you only have to treat once a month. That's why I use Crossfire, because I don't want to be in somebody's house disrupting their house every week to two weeks apart. I don't want to do that. I would rather go in once, treat just one time, and then they just call me if they need me to come back. That works out better for everybody, honestly. How often do you reapply Fast Cat for spiders? Once a month. Um, fast cap, uh, Onslaught Fast Cap claims 90 day residue uh, indoors, but if you read reviews and you read the SDS and you read the chemical, it actually won't last more than 90 days outside. You have to, I mean, more than 30 days. You have to use it within 30 days. So you treat once a month, uh, every month, and you will kill your spiders. You'll get rid of them because Fast Cap breaks down in, in ultraviolet light. It is sunlight breaks it down within a month. It's gone. Now, inside, it'll last a long time. You may not have to treat inside, but once every 90 days. But treating outside, it's once a month. Uh, Sterifab for bed bugs, yes or no? No. It's just rubbing alcohol, basically.
you don't have to worry about your PC because they have to come out and bite you. So, so if you've got, if you're worried about, so let's let's do a, let's 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 do one of these. I like to do these. These are fun for me. So let's do a drawing with Jason. Let's pet. Let's let's. Let's 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 channel our inner Bob Ross, like that Bob Ross, right down in there in the corner. Let's let's pretend we're Bob Ross, okay? So you've got a bedroom, or let's say a small apartment. All right, let's say this is your apartment, and we're gonna have our doorway come in here since my picture's in the way. We're gonna put our doorway right here. Boom. All right, it's in the corner. Okay, nothing's in the corner but a door. All right. So you come in your room, and let's say it's just an apartment, like a small studio apartment, okay? So let's say you've got a sofa right there, and you got a bed right there, and maybe you got like a desk right there with a little chair, okay? Perfect. A little crammed, but hey, it works. It fits, right? So your computer is here. Let's see. Let's get some red paint. Let's get some red paint. No, I don't want to make that red. I want to make that black. I want to get the paint. A little pen, pencil, pencil. All right, your PC is there. Okay, now, and this is one bedroom. Okay, this is a one bedroom apartment. We've got, we got a sofa here. Sofa. And a bed. And a PC. All right. And maybe a little Nintendo right here. <laughs> okay. So you got all your stuff right there. All right. This is really close. Actually, you could have bed bugs living here on this desk because it is so close to the bed. Um, you could have bed bugs living here. In fact, you probably do. You have bed bugs living here. You have bed bugs living here. Let's say they're living all over the room. Okay. You can't spray your PC because it's electrical. So you can't put electrical you know, liquids or anything like that around a PC. You could destroy your PC or cause electric shock or a fire. All right? That's bad. Okay? So you can't spray there. But you can spray your bed. Let's do blue for water. Okay? Spray your bed. Spray your sofa. Spray your baseboards all around the room. All right? And this is not the best ever, but you get the idea. So you treat your baseboards all throughout the room. Okay? You are going to be here some, but you can treat your chair. You can treat your chair. So let's let's treat the chair, because that's not electrical, right? That's just a desk chair. So we'll treat your desk chair. All right. So you're sitting here, and the bed bugs are like, oh nom nom. Let's make the bed bugs. Let's make them. Let's make them like a poopy brown. Can I get edit? I want a poopy brown color because everybody thinks that bed bugs are poopy. There we go. Is that a good idea, Emma? Poopy brown for bed bugs. All right, so the poopy brown bed bugs are going to come here and they're going to try to bite you, and they might be successful, but they they've got to crawl up on this bed or crawl down off of this bed or crawl up onto this chair. The chair's been treated, the bed's been treated, the sofa's been treated. Anywhere you are in this room, and let's 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 look at this logically too. Bed bugs typically feed between two and four. Four A M. Okay? Or two hundred to four hundred if you're on military time. Right? Did I get that right? Alicia? What? Two AM to four AM is two hundred to four hundred, right? Yeah. Right? That's military time. I did that right. Okay. That's when bed bugs feed. So if you're not at your desk and you're not but you're in the bed and the bed's treated. And sofa's treated. So let's say you crash on the sofa. Let's say you're watching TV and you crash on the sofa. All right. Well, the sofa's treated. And the bed bugs go to the sofa to bite you and they die. The bed bugs go to the bed, they die. They come out of the PC because they can't get blood from a PC. So they go here and they bite you there. Or they go here and they bite you there. You see, what I'm, you see where I'm getting? Or... They'll go up your desk chair if you're sitting at your desk having late night gaming party or whatever. They'll bite you on your desk chair, but your desk chair is treated. All these areas are treated, including the baseboards. So there's nowhere that they can go to get to you, the food source. You are the meal. You're the one they're trying to eat. So if you treat the area that you're going to be when they're hungry, they have to come to you. They crawl through the treated surface. They die. 
They die because they have made the mistake of trying to feed on you. And you are surrounded with a barrier that they have to crawl through. If you're on the sofa, there's a barrier there. If you're on the bed, there's a barrier there. If you're sitting in your desk chair, there's a barrier there. Do you see? So there's nowhere they can go to get to you at all. They're going to die. Just be patient. That's how Crossfire works. It works through non-repellency. Now, if you use something like, I mean, even, even Temperate. Temperate and Crossfire both. They're non-repellent. Alpine WSG, also non-repellent. All three of those chemicals are non-repellent pesticides. Okay? So, if you use any one of those three in the areas... But now, now Alpine, you can't treat the mattress at all with Alpine. But you can treat the box spring. You just can't treat the mattress. If you don't have a heavy infestation, they're not living on the mattress. It's not going to hurt just to treat the box spring. So, they will die. Do you spray monthly with Alpine WSG for bed bug progenitor? I do, I do. I do spray monthly with Alpine WSG for bed bug prevention. Label says 60 day residue for some applications, but I use it monthly for bed bugs because that's the only way that I've been able to successfully prevent bed bugs is monthly pest control. But it is on the label. Celeste, Celeste had, had mentioned about um, Alpine WSG having a 60 day residue. It does. In, indoors, it will last for 60 days for some bugs, but not all bugs. Roaches, I believe you have to treat every once every month. So. so, was I right about Harris bed bug spray in my earlier comment about the time you started gaming? I'm not sure. What did you say? about Harris. I think I missed it. Did you put it? I think you might have put it on the Harris post. Let me see. I recognize your name. Do, do, do. Do, ba, do, do, ba, do. That was not you. Someone else did. Today I used the Harris bottle. Hmm. You'll have to ask me again, Ernie, because I don't know I, d I don't know the question. I missed it completely. Let me see if I can find it. It's very hard for me to find people's posts. You are the snack, yes. When we had bed bugs, because we did have bed bugs, right before um, we had bed bugs, right before Finley was born. And I told my wife, I said, it's because you're a snack. That's why they want to bite you that she did not find that humorous. Maybe a little bit. She gets my humor. <laughs> Hi, Jason. I just wanted to say... And then it's gone. You took it away, Royce Report. I want to see the message. I start to read it. Oh, wait, there it is. Just wanted to say that I got a new account and now it's gone. I didn't get to read it. Dang it. It scrolls too fast. So it's, ooh, I hit my mic with my hat. So what's everybody's plan for the weekend? What y'all gonna do this weekend? 
What are we going to do this weekend, Alicia Chad? We're going to celebrate birthday, but we're going to have us a tea party. Mm -hmm. you got to do like this. I've been practicing. You have to slurp, right? Something like that. That's what Emma asked for. Emma has asked for a tea party. She wants everybody to have tea and biscuits. And you have to hold your finger like this. When you drink your tea. What? I have to do that or it's not a tea party. She says I don't have to do that if I don't want to do that. But I am I am going to do that. And I'm going to talk in my best British accent. Oh, uh, no longer single digits. You got four days left, Emma. Four days. Sit in my lift chair and do rehab. Maybe play some Hyrule Warriors. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Hyrule Warriors, it's all right. So what is a lift chair? I'm, I'm ignoramus. I'm not trying to be offensive. I don't know what it is. Lift chair. And rehab. Oh, no. Is that one of those things that stands you up? Hey, Jason. I wanted to tell you that I just got a new account, and this is it's my church. I am spraying quarterly and servicing rodent bait stations monthly. I am doing it for no charge to them. Cool. Going fishing. Bill said he going fishing. What you gonna catch? What's that fish you wanna catch, Rory? What? What's that fish Goliath you want? Goliath grouper. A what? Goliath, Goliath grouper. grouper. Rory said he's caught fifteen Goliath groupers. No, I haven't. And he's gonna put them and pit them one against one another in a in a in a battle to the death. Right? What? No. He wants to catch a Goliath grouper though. Will they fight each other? I don't know, but they're really big fish. They're really big fish. I once caught a whale. What? It was so big, Rory. You have no idea. I was all by myself, though. No one got to see. It got away, though. It got away. It was huge. It was like as big as a Volkswagen Beetle. Bigger. Like, it could eat Volkswagen Beetles. It was so big. It was such a huge whale. You catch it, I will tell you how to cook it, he says. Joe said. Well, that's good, Royce. I like water. Mm hmm. Gotta be careful how I sing. What's going on, Alicia Joe? See, she's playing Rust right now. She's trying to teach my my daughter how to kill noobs. Oh, I don't have to teach. Emma's actually really good at PvP. I know. Emma's mean. Women, women are good at PvP. Like, they're terrifying. Like, you, you, girls are just gamers. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's not, it's not the general rule. Like, most people are like, girls don't play video games, all right? A lot, a lot of girls don't. But, I'll tell you what. The girls that do will murder you in the face. I have, so when I grew up, I played a lot of video games. I'll get back on the games for a minute. I played video games growing up a lot. And I used to play uh, Tetris and 
uh, you know, I like Tetris. Tetris is really fun. I'm actually pretty good at Tetris. I like Tetris. I've actually seen the ending of Tetris, if you've ever done that on Game Boy. But um, it's a fun game. But my sister would play with me. As she whooped my ass every time, I could. it did not matter how good I thought I was. I am not as good as her. She plays like a computer. Like, she knows where every single thing goes every time. Every time. I can't beat her at all. I've never beaten her. Never. Never. No matter how hard I try, no matter how much I practice, I can't beat her. Emma is like, kills you dead in the face. If you try to, to, to attack her, she will kill you. She will laugh. And she will laugh like the Joker. All right? Like, if you've ever watched Batman, you know how Joker, when he kills somebody, he laughs because he's insane. He's insane, maniacal, madman. And when she kills you in a video game, she just laughs. She just laughs and laughs the whole time. Like, ur, 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 and she's just laughing the whole time. She's killing you dead. <laughs> killing you dead. She just kills you. It's just, it's, it, and she's 10. She's not even 10. She's 9. So I will, I, 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 I have no problem admitting that I get owned by a 9-year-old. But she's really good. She's really good. But women are brutal. They're just determined. You know, they make the best murderers. If you've ever seen those shows like Snapped and, and, and the, you know, it's always the women that, that think every single possible outcome and they always are the ones. It's like, they're, the, they're like, man, they could have they got it way too if it wasn't for those rotten kids. You know, that, that's like, the girls are... are just genius like they're like like evil geniuses like they are probably well over every single cold case that's ever been ever is probably a woman it's probably why you can't figure out who did it because it was a woman because they're smart they're good but paper sense says that the women are good at pvp because they need healthy places to release stress is that true alicia yes yes she said yes this is absolutely a stress reliever <clears throat> so my camera is fuzzy I do still have bed bug though let's see if she's still alive it's been over a month come on Amber wake up oh I think she's she's still alive <gasps> she's still alive She's alive! She has not been fed. There she is. She has not been fed. Crossfire is not a premix. You have to mix it yourself. I have seen a nine-year-old play drums really well to disturb down with the sickness. Let's see. I have an online friend that I play Halo PvP. She loves it. She's 69 and still has fun. So many places you could go with that. Crossfire is concentrated. Yes. Crossfire is concentrated. So. Oh, and if you haven't liked, like me. There are um, 18 viewers and 19 likes. I guess that's pretty good. I, I, can't, I can't ask for more than what are already here. But anyway, I appreciate it for everyone that has liked it. So if you go to Crossfire... Actually, let me show you a video. Okay? This is a good video. Let me do my channel. Alright, go to Shorts. That's a real quick and easy video to see. Alright? And scroll down. Scroll down short, scroll down. There it is, right there. All right, this is one of my TikTok videos I made, okay? Let's watch this real quick, together. Crossfire is a newer pesticide. It's been out a few years now, and it works really good for the elimination of bed bugs. So the way that we mix Crossfire is first, we want to pour water into our gallon container. Now we're, we're using a gallon size container because Crossfire is mixed 13 ounces to a gallon and now the little bottle that you see in this little clip is a 13 ounce bottle of crossfire so what you do is you pour the water into the bng or whatever sprayer you're using we're using a bng in this uh, specific clip and 
the, uh, you fill it halfway full, and then you pour your crossfire in, like we're doing, and then you fill it the rest of the way up with water, and then you shake your tank, and that's all it is to, to mixing crossfire. Uh, you've got the... There you go. That's how you do it. It's easy. It's easy. Bill says throw the bed bug in the fire. I'm actually, so, I was thinking about letting her out. What? Hey, Alicia, do you have to use the bathroom? You're not going to let her out to feed her. She's going to die. That's the goal. She's going to starve to death. Do you want to starve to death? That would be a horrible way to die. Is that fair? That is not fair to her. She doesn't know what she is. She just knows that she's hungry. She's so hungry. Look at me. No. It didn't work. I was going to let her out and let her bite me, but she will not bite me, even though I have had people vote and say she needs to bite me. If I ran a poll right now, and tell, so if I tell you, my chat, <clears throat> if I let this bug bite me, okay, feed on my blood so she can live, all right, I am going to monitor the bite. I will tell you how long it takes to heal. I will tell you what I do to help with the itch. All that stuff. For science. Okay? It's for science. I'm a mad scientist. Every scientist is a little mad. Just a little bit. Okay? Every one of us. So, if I let this bug bite me, we could learn things about this bug. I only have one. It's one female, but it is, it is a bug. So, let's ask the chat. Let's start with a poll. Should I let Amber bed bug bite me? Question mark. Ask your community. There you go. Now we got a poll. I think it could be beneficial to learn how to deal. I mean, I'm an exterminator. I've never been bit by a bed bug before. Not even one time. I've been doing bed bugs for 24 years, and I have never been bit, not one time. And I don't mind teaching people what happens. So far, it's 50-50. So, we'll see what happens. We'll let this run for a few minutes, and we'll see what we get. We can get a Tupperware, and I can put my arm over it, Alicia. Like a little plastic, like a little thing, like a glass thing or something, and hold my arm over it. Would you let me do that? Alicia? Should, you're not making eye contact. No, I'm not. If they vote yes, would you let me do it? Because she can't bite through the screen for some reason. She's so tired. I could do it over this. Maybe. No, that's not fair enough. No, this is fine. I think what we ought to do is maybe you can do it. I need to do it live. Oh, you would. I gotta do it live. So everybody sees my reactions. I've had 13 votes, 62% say yes. Okay. You gotta do it live. Well, give me one of the big ones then. One of your big containers. See, I got this little plastic container like this. So I can just I hold my arm like this. and I, Well, actually, that might be too That might be too small. That might actually be too small. But I got a bigger one over there we can use. Or... I might have one right around here. I got all kind of junk over here. I could probably find Where something. Where do you have, is it that one clear bin up there with the bird up there at my dream box? Maybe. If you set the bird yeah. out and you put her over there and you keep something to knock her off into it if she tries to go. Okay. Over all right, we'll do it. We'll do it. We're going to let her bite me. Right there. Let me go AFK just for a minute because I got to pee. And then um, I'm going to play some some AFK music. Let me see if I get my you AFK music. I do crazy stuff. I talk you into it though. It works out really great. It's really great. I'll be right back. I gotta use my effort. So I can figure out how to do this.
Okay, there we go. So this is what I got. It's a big old box. Alright. It ain't going nowhere. I ain't gonna let loose. It's gonna be fine. I think it will be fine. I think it will be fine. So, what I'm gonna do... I wonder if I can do... Can I get this? I wonder if I can somehow elevate this up and put it on like a stack of something so you can see. Because I don't have two cameras. So I can't do like a camera one, the face of the guy getting bit by the bed bug, and then camera two. Just turn it on. Live stream it on Twitch, the actual speedy. Huh? You can live stream it on Twitch, the speedy, not just your arm. But I'm live streaming on YouTube. I don't have two cameras though. I just got one. Well, that's what I was thinking. You kind of need to set it up. Archer says he's team wife. But I still got 64%. That's 22 votes. 64 people want me to let want me to feed Amber Heard. Ain't no way that bug is going to bite you. Says somebody. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let it bite me. I'm over it. Maybe it doesn't look bite you because you know how like you apply pesticide to your animals? What? Ever? Bite them. Maybe that's why it so you're saying that because I'm in pesticide all the time that I have somehow I got Rolex. That I have somehow that that I have somehow done poisoned my body and then they you don't want to bite me. Like a low dose. I am moving a bunch of crap off of my desk so I can make room for stuff because this isn't quite finished it yet. That's that's a long time I was working on that. And then I drew this little pretty picture. This is a pretty picture that I was coloring. Just just doodled. And then I drew Minnie Mouse. It's a dead Minnie Mouse. And then I do I drew these. I was just practicing stuff. Showing my daughter how to do different stuff. Shading. Like shading and stuff like that. And then I drew I've been working. I did I did those. I don't know if you can see them or not. Those are recent. I just drew those. That's uh, 2022. I drew them. That was just last year. November of last year. And I've been working on a couple dragons and stuff too. But yeah, that's my sketch pad. I just have a few pages in this one. But I've got like so many of these things completely full in another room of the house. I keep them in. This is the back of my switch. This needs to go up there. But let me see if I can get this stuff off of my desk. I'm trying to make room here. I really am. Trying. I, I have not cleaned my desk off in ages, so maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this will help me get some stuff cleaned up. I have all kinds of crap everywhere, and it is a mess. I am a normal person. This is proof that I am just a normal person that is gross. I'm a normal gross person, okay? I'm just normal and gross. I'm trying to get this thing set up to where I can film it. All right. Okay, Bob Ross is going to check out and, and the bell. Cowbells on be right there. Right there. All right. Let's go ahead and turn the monitor. Is it will it turn anymore? No, it won't. All right. So let's go ahead. That's perfect. And that's a roll of duct tape that I sat it on. So don't judge. Don't judge. So that that will work, right? That will work. Actually, let me put something a little more stable. Let's put the stitch pad back up under there. So it's flat. Yes, that's that's better. That's better. So I'm going to let her bite me right here. Okay? I'm going to let it bite me. People are saying watch it die instantly because I've got so much chemical in my blood. That's All right. what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not like I've been treating myself with Frontline. Okay, so let's see. I am removing the lid. Are you watching, Emma? Emma is watching. So I, I am like her, I am her, uh, I am her, her humor for the night. All right, so the yeah, lid is right, off. The lid is off. The screen is, ooh, the screen just fell off. Okay, didn't expect that to happen just then right then. Didn't expect that. I was going to try to show you. And so she is in there. She is in there. Right there. See her? She's in there. So let's breathe on her. See if I can wake her up. All right. Oh, she's moving. She's moving. Holy cow. I don't know if I want to do this. Wait a minute. I think I'm going to chicken out. 
I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. Maybe we should use tweezers. Should I use tweezers? No, I think you'll pop her. I'm a little nervous. Nervous you're going to let her escape? I might be a little nervous. She really woke up and ran all over the place. She's wide awake right now. Kenju says it's okay to chicken out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me see if she'll bite me through the screen because she's acting more, more vigorous than ever before. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if she'll bite me through the screen. I think I'd save her. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Wait. Oh, shit. I don't want to let her out. I really don't want to let her out. Okay. They say you can do it. This is weird. All right. Let's see if she'll bite me through the screen this time. Let's just see if she'll do it. Let's see if she'll do it. I'm holding it on my arm, on the underbelly. Somebody said I should do it on the underbelly, right near the pulse, like a couple weeks ago. There we go. We'll put it right there on the wrist. She's hungry, they say. She, she heard Johnny was going to pay her. That's what woke her up. Is she on it? They say it takes 10 minutes. So just leave her there for like... Oh, minutes. she's crawling all over this lid. Trying to figure out how to get to you. Yes. She, she's so bad. Mallory Catherine says don't do it. I'm doing it already. But she hadn't bit me yet. I don't feel it. Jennifer Lego says I'm a baby. <laughs> how many oh, all right all right so let me ask the audience how many people here how many people here have been bit by a bed bug i haven't It's for science. Exactly. It's for science. Is she actually latched on? I feel sure? a pinch, but I don't know if I'm just holding this thing too tight. Well, don't tight. Let, she, Hey, she come here with your... Them. Come here with a light. Well, you can kind of light. So you she is crawling, them. like, all over the place. Like, she is more awake now than I think she has ever been. Ever. Like, her life depends on this meal. Like, Ever. I mean, she, it has been over a month. It has been probably a month and a half since this bug has fed on anybody. At all. Joe says you really don't feel anything. You're not supposed to feel anything. But she, you should start to see her fill up blood. You should start to see her. Hey, um, let me see. If I can hold this, I don't want to drop this thing. I think she might have gotten a bite. Hold on. Well, don't move. I need somebody to hold this on so I can light it up and look. Let I want to watch. Let over there and look. Do it. He won't want to do it. He don't want to do it. Hold on a minute. I'm in an arena. He's playing WoW. All right, so she's moving around. Hey. Oh, man. This is so cool looking. Hold on. I want to show you guys what I see. Is she filling up the blood? Not yet. Is she moving still? Oh, yeah. Let me do... You know what? I'll do this. Oh, no! Oh! I don't want to drop it. Hold on. Video. Flash. Okay. So let's put this back on my wrist. And let's go ahead and put the camera lens. You can take a flashlight and shine it on there for Dad. And see if you can see well, that. I want to film this bug because I want people to see this because this is crazy. Okay, there we go.
Hey, Emma. Come here. Can you reach over with your hand and hold that down on my arm? And push it down. There you go. That's what I need. Emma is helping. She is my lovely assistant, Emma. <laughs> Do you see it down there? She's trying. Okay, she may not actually be able to bite me through the screen. So what if you knock her down into the bottom, take her off, and put it, your arm over it really quick before she can crawl out? Can you do that? I don't know. I really am trying. I really am. I'm a wimp, but I really am trying to do this. Okay, so I don't think she can bite me because she's trying, but she can't get to me. So let's go ahead and turn that off. She can't bite me. She can't get me through the screen. And this is supposed to be a feeder tube. Maybe I got the wrong screen on it, but I think I've got the biggest opening that she could use. I don't. Maybe it doesn't like guys. How do I know it's a she? Yes, because I know it's a she because of the shape of her body. You could tell it's a she because of the shape of her body. So. Yeah, exactly. Males are pointy-ended and females are round. This is a round one. Like, look. Yeah, so I would just tap her down into the bottom, take the lid off, put my arm over it, and then flip it up. But then how am I going to get her? Hey, Rory. How are you going to get her? Rory, bring me your tweezers. No, you're not going to get her. This is what you're going to do. You're going to take her in your tube. You're going to tap her down to the bottom. You're going to remove the lid and put your arm over it. And then flip her upside down. Yeah. But it's a... Sh she will get to your arm. And then she will be able to bite you. You're just scared. Can y'all hear her? You can't hear her, right? <laughs> y'all can't hear her belittling me, can you? <laughs> you hear what I have to put up with. Do you hear what I have to put up with? <laughs> I just said you're just scared. I am scared. I am scared. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to be scared. She won't come off the screen now. Remove the top lid. Alright, hold on. I, she won't get off the screen now. Okay, did she fall down? Okay. Alright, fine. Fine, 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 fine. The lid is off. The lid is off, and 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 I'm really don't want this. But the lid is off, okay? The lid is off. Do you see? There's no lid, no lid, at all. All right. Put your arm on it to keep her in there. Yes. Why are you laughing at me? See, now she's stuck at the other side though, and she don't want to come down. So now you gotta tap her with your arm. But don't. If I tap it and I drop this glass, it's I mean, gonna. You hold it there and then have Emma flick it with their finger. And Emma, do you know how to flick the bottom of the jar? Emma, go over there and flick the bottom of the jar. I don't have it over this bin anymore. I need like an ink pen. That's what I need. I need like an ink pen. All right, I got this ink pen here. Give her some time, they say. Women need time. Yeah, Hold give on. her some time. She is not coming off of the screen now. See, they've got this screen in here so that they could climb up this because bed bugs don't climb up slick surfaces like interceptors that people put on beds and stuff like that. All right, see this pen? You see this pen, Emma? Mm -hmm. Grab it. All right, turn it around the metal side and then tap that glass, the metal side, and tap that glass. Yeah. It's not working, is it? Nope. No. Tap on the side right here. Here. Do you think this is stupid? No. <laughs> she wants to see it, whatever it is. She wants to watch it bite me. It will, it, 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 she's not coming down now. She's not coming down now. 
But and I, I mean, I am holding it. It, it. She is there. See, see how she's right on the edge right there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. See how she's right there. She won't come down now. She was right on the leg, crawling all over the place. Like, she's going to eat me, but then she wouldn't do it. Spousal abuse, they say. It's spousal abuse. The way you abuse me, Alicia. Oh, my goodness. All right. See, I can't do that. If I do... See, if I had the tweezers, I could do it. I could make it work if I had tweezers. Because I could grab her by the leg. My arm is too fat. And it's got cushion, and when I slam it down on my arm, she won't fall because my arm absorbs the impact. Do you understand, Alicia? Yeah, so you need to tap the jar. Yes, but it's not working. Tap that jar. Do that again, Emma. The side, right here. No, the side. Not the bottom. No, the other side. Oh. There you go. Where she is. Now tap it. I have an itchy nose now. Well, nothing else is a good example of that, uh, uh, that they can stay stuck to surfaces. Oh, yeah, they can stay stuck. But it's it's a tap the jar with a mallet. <laughs> with a mallet? <laughs> I'll do, yeah, I'll pull a Gallagher. <laughs> I'll smash a glass all over the place. Night, everyone. Hope you have a good night with no bites if you're dealing with them. Tennessee, signing out. See you later, Bill. She's not going to do it. All right, so let's do this. All right, so now she's on the lid. Maybe she's just tired now. Oh, there we go. See, now she's active. All right, well... And talk All right. about bed bugs, and then we'll check back with her later. Alright, we'll talk about bed bugs. Anybody want to talk about bed bugs? Let's talk about bed bugs. You could lay that down. Thank you, Emma. I am trying. Mm -hmm. But you won't let me use tweezers. But tweezers would work. I could do tweezers. I could. I got the little micro tweezers for like electronics, that would work. You should spray your suitcases with Crossfire outside, but not inside. I I don't spray the inside anyway. I treat the outside of my suitcases, but that's what it says on the label to do. It says to treat set uh, suitcases, um, backpacks, stuff like that. Do I have spider videos? I do. I do. So let's see if I can do this while I'm holding this thing on my arm. So if we go to the YouTube channel, we go to videos, and we'll search, search, let's see, let's just search spider. S-P-I-D-E-R. Spider. There you go. It has several spider videos. There's one. Spider invasion. Why do spiders come inside? All right. It talks about spiders. We got how to get rid of spiders, three easy steps, black widows and stuff. Um, how to identify a poisonous spider. Yeah, several spider videos. Do you spray the whole outside of a suitcase or just the seams? I usually treat the seams heavily and then the outside of the suitcase, lightly. That's what I typically do. Kristen, have you ever been bit by a bed bug? Kristen was showing some interesting pictures of some bed bug work she's been doing lately on the Discord. She's not. Well, then we need to get Kristen here. They would probably bite her because she's a girl, and bed bugs like to bite girls. 
cleaning the aftermath of carpet beetles has been horrible. Yes, they are awful. I get mutilated by fleas as well. I hate fleas. How many times can one bed bug bite you? Several. Until they're full. If they get clumsy and fall off, they'll bite you until they get full. Sometimes three times, sometimes five or six times. It just depends. Oh, I think it's biting me now. Can you feel it? Yes. I feel a pinch. And it's absolutely not biting me because it's not even on my arm anymore. <laughs> Stuff. Yeah. Damn, I feel like an idiot. She's not even on the lid anymore. She done crawled all the way back up now. She's not even on the lid. That is embarrassing. Like, look. Like, look at my arm. Like, look, I'll show you. Look, look, see that? See that little, see, see? I've been holding it against my arm, trying to get her to bite me. She does not want to bite me. I, I prefer block bait for rodents. I've never been able to get them to eat soft bait. The bed bugs were harboring on my husband's side, but I had all the bites in the morning. They were probably biting both of you, but he wasn't reacting from the bites because they were, they were living all over his side of the bed. They were biting him, more than likely. Teresa said it's the world's dumbest bed bug. Well, you know what her name is, don't you? <laughs> you know what her name is, right? You know what we, as a, as a community, decided to name this bug, right? Try the underside of the wrist. The skin is thinner. I don't want her to bite my jugular. Isn't that the, is that the jugular? Or is that in the neck? I don't know. Jennifer wants me to get bit. She wants me to get bit really bad. She's supposed to be my friend. She's not my friend. Psycho schematic for sure. This <laughs> Mallory. The jugular is the neck. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just hold it to my neck like this. I'll just do like this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. See, you have to blow in it. Because they like the carbon that your that's your breath, the carbon dioxide. So I'm breathing all over her. I'm breathing on her neck, fellas, trying to get her excited. But you removed the screen. Oh, I removed the whole lid. Okay. She's not She's scared. She she she's. It it has been almost two hours on this stream, and about the last twenty minutes has just been trying to get this stupid bug to bite me on the arm. What is the bug's name? The bug's name is Amber Heard. It was a vote, and everyone voted Amber Heard. I guess because Amber Heard is a bloodsucker. Do you think that's funny, Emma? It wasn't me. I didn't pick the name of the bed bug. That was the name the audience picked. They named her Amber Heard. Do you do 30-day follow-up retreat for German roaches? Yes, always. Always. I, I put people on a monthly schedule for German cockroaches um, until you get rid of them. Because it can take a while to get rid of roaches. Anyone that tells you you could get rid of roaches in just one treatment lie, is lying. They're just looking for a sale. All right, I've got it on the wrist now. You mean people. I ought to take the screen out. You know, if I took the screen out of the jar, it would be a lot easier to get her to do what I wanted her to do. Because the problem is, is that she can climb up that screen. See... Like, there's no lid. But you see that? That's a screen in there that she is actually hanging out on. If you look in through the lid, you can see it. You see? It's like a little screen. Like a little piece of, like, screen door screen. Really small. And that's so she can get, you know, a grip on the side of the jar. Because, yeah. But they can climb. I mean, they can climb 
slick surfaces. I've seen them do it. But that just helps them. Uh, maybe blow on your wrist and make it really warm. Okay. All right, we'll see what happens. Jason, I found a baby nymph in the bathroom last night after my mother used it again. I know you said update you, so yeah, I thought I would send this and have you respond in front of everyone. So, um, but you've been, I don't know exactly when you first treated, Hus. What, when did you first treat? Um, I love your show. I don't have bed bugs, but my friend who's in pest control recommended two products to keep pests out. Alpine the Aerosol and Tempered FX. Can you talk about... I wouldn't use Alpine the Aerosol at all as uh, general pest control. Um, tempered maybe, but not, not Alpine. Um, if you watch my uh, general pest control video, so let's see if I can get to that while I'm holding this thing on my arm. I'll just move it up a little bit. I'm going to have to be able to use my mouse. Okay, so if you go to my videos, and actually we can go to playlists, and go to three to four step pest control solutions anyone could do, and you click that. All right, and then you scroll down the list, and you click general pest control. And then I'm going to share this, copy this link, and I'll paste it in. There you go. That is for general pest control, and that would that would cover things like tempered chemicals, like tempered. So, as I've come to learn, pest pest companies will capitalize on your fear. Yeah, they do. Um, I try to teach people so they're not afraid. I, I feel like if you've got the right education, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, I got the aerosol alpine crossfire. I really wanted mine to go away. Let's see. I avoid aerosols as much as possible. Tempered is good as a general spray inside. Yeah, right. It's better for general pest control. Um, I retreated March 4th. So it's been March 4th, and today's the 23rd. It'll be 20 days tomorrow. This is about when you should be getting babies hatching anyway. That's normal. So Because you look at 6 to 10 days for an egg to hatch and 6 to 10 days for your first bite. At most, it could be 20 days before you get a bite from a from a bed bug egg. Oh, did she get down there? No, she did not. She has not come down to my arm yet. Uh, thanks, I already own the Alpine and Tempered. Should I no use Alpine? Should I not use Alpine at all, or was it good for? Does this video talk about what to do, or just throw it out? It was like $35. So, Al PT Alpine is it's an aerosol version of Alpine. I would, I mean, you can use it. It won't last as long as a regular Alpine, but it's typically for things like fleas and bed bugs, but usually for elimination. She's crawling in there. She's really crawling. I bet if I tapped it right now, she would fall because she's moving. That's not working. Can you use an aerosol in your car to get in all the cracks and crevices? You can. You can. Especially if it comes with like a WD-40 type tube on it, which is usually what I recommend people hook up. Kind of like what comes off of the, I guess, what do you call a spray bottle of um, the, the, what is it, the fog, the air in a can, aerosol cans for cleaning out like duster cans that you use to clean out your PC and stuff like that. Those little tubes. Or a WD-40 tube. Same thing. Sunny Crack Beats. Thanks again for all the info. I've been watching a ton of your content. Well, thank you for the $5, Sonny. I'm trying to get a bed bug to bite me right now. She won't do it. I hope I am entertaining you people. I'm really trying to entertain 
Let me see. Problem with aerosols is you have no control over the dosage and it seems to be weaker than doing... Yeah, that's exactly right. They're not very strong. That's the problem with that with uh, aerosols. I'm trying all of your guys' advice and she's not wanting to bite me at all. I think she knows I'm evil. She knows I've killed all of her kin and she's worried that I'm going to kill her too. Which I probably would, honestly. Not like from biting me. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been on Frontline or anything like that. Emma. Do you want to try to smack this thing again? A bulb duster or a bellows? A bulb, uh, bellows duster. Here, grab that pin. Let's try again. Don't, 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 don't be scared to hit it. Try on the lid. There you go. It is glass. I don't want you to break it, but... Yeah. It's still not falling down on me. You want her to bite me, don't you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you're laughing. Is that because you're afraid? If you say yes, that I'll be offended? No. I think it's going to, like, a little bit, maybe. You think I'll freak out and drop her in the floor and she'll crawl all over the place and Mom will be upset? <laughs> That's probably what will happen. No. You think that'll happen? Well, then she's going to die because I'll squish her if she's on the floor. Raid is typically a repellent. Yes, correct. But there is one that is not. So I'm going to put the lid back on this so I can actually do a search. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to her and see if I can get her to bite me. But I want to show y'all a actual raid product that does kill bed bugs. Um, there's only one. There's only one that does. So if we go to my Amazon page, thank you, Emma, my lovely assistant, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So this. So so. Oh, that's what I was gonna go over. Now that now I remember. All right. Let's talk about Raid, okay? Someone had mentioned to me in one of my comments on one of my videos, they asked me if I could go over some of the pesticides that I have offered on my store. So this is my Amazon store. So basically what this is, is I have gone over all over Amazon and I have found products that I would purchase and I have put them, and I, that I have purchased and I put them on my website. This is my Amazon website, okay? I don't sell these. Amazon sells these. This is just a link to take you to where you can buy them. Okay? So this is bed bug foaming spray. Alright? It's a raid bed bug foaming spray. If you look at it, it has it, it, this is a specific type of a foaming spray. Now let me show you. Um let me see. Maybe let me see. Raid bed bug foam spray. All right, let's look at it at, on this website. This might give us the actual active ingredients and the label. So let's click this. There we go. All right, you probably can't read this, but these active ingredients are identical to Crossfire. So let's see, let's see if we can actually zoom in. Oh, can we? Let's zoom in a lot. Let's zoom in a lot. All right. There you go. Clothidin, metaflutherin, papillon butoxide. Those are the active ingredients in this can, specifically the specific can of Raid. Raid Max is not the same. Raid Bed Bug Foaming Spray is the same exact active ingredients as a can of Crossfire Aerosol. So let me show you. Crossfire aerosol. All right, this is a can of Crossfire aerosol spray. Okay, now if we go to now this is on do-it-yourself pest control, so I think it is, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, so they should have the actual list. There we go. There's the active ingredients right there. The exact same active ingredients: clothidin, forty percent; metaflutherin, 0.01 percent; palabronobutoxide, one percent. The exact same 
active ingredients as this pesticide right here. So the reason that I have this on my Amazon store is because this is Crossfire in a can. It's only 1084. It's only 1084. But if you go here and you look at what they're charging for a can, the same can is uh, 3595. It's really expensive. Okay, that's the thing. This is the same thing as this, except it says Raid. All right, I would never recommend Raid to use for bug control, like ever, ever, unless it worked. And this will kill bed bugs. This will kill bed bugs. But it's on my site. It's right here. You can find it at Lowe's. But the reason I have it listed here is so you know what to find. Do you understand? But if you go and you look at other types of bed bug foam like this one, this is bed bug foaming spray as well. It's Raid Max, bed bug crack and crevice extended protection foaming spray. This is not, not Crossfire. It's not Crossfire at all. It's Raid Max. You see? Raid Max, Raid, bed bug foaming spray. They're different products. They're not the same, not even the same label. They're not even on the same type of can. See, this has actually got like a WD-40 tube on it, but it's not even the same pesticide at all. It's not the same. Okay? So don't get confused. If you go to Walmart or Lowe's or somewhere, you see this, don't buy that. You'll waste your money. But if you see this, buy that. That will work. You could probably find that in Canada. Maybe. You know, you could sometimes find this stuff. It's already pre-mixed and ready to go. Okay, so raid foaming bed bug spray kills them. I saw them dead in the residue in my car for a couple years a couple years ago. My apologies, my fingers aren't working well. Let's see. Um, okay, so Mallory Catherine says, then why did you make me pay more for Crossfire? Okay, so let me explain. This is a can. Okay, this, this is a can. This is concentrate. The video I showed earlier where I mixed chemical, I used this. I didn't use this. I used this right here. Okay, this is better than this. But if the can is the only option you have, this is better than anything else you can buy over the counter. This will be more effective than not this. You know, the thing is, is if you cannot get Crossfire, like in Canada, New York, New Jersey, California, different states, if you can't find this, but you can find this, buy this. Okay? But yeah, you'd need 50 cans of this to be an equivalent to this. That's correct. But if you, this is all you can find, it's all you can find. It's better than nothing. You know, it's better than most of the stuff they sell you over the counter. It's, it's better than anything else that they sell you over the counter. Better than anything. What is your best advice for treating a sofa for fleas? Uh, Alpine WSG works in a sofa. You take all the cushions off and you treat under the cushions. And you flip the couch, treat underneath it, and you put the cushions back. And it'll kill the fleas in the sofa. And that's per label directions so all right so now she's on the side of this thing let me see if i can get her to come out let's see if i'll try i'll try one more time let's try one more time wake her up oh oh <gasps> she's on me oh shit is she on you oh shit she's gonna eat you now i need to watch my language She's on me. Can y'all see? She's on me. She's on me. Ooh, she's giving me that love bite. Ooh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She's on me. Emma, she's biting me. Can you feel her biting me, though? I cannot feel her biting me. But she's biting me. So set like a 10 minute timer and we'll see if she's starting to fill a flood. Hold it up so we can see, please. All right. <clears throat> Can you see her? Can you see her? She's on me. She hasn't fed in like two months or almost two months. 
But she's feeding now. Y'all see that? There's no lid. No lid. The lid. I have to be very careful how I hold this now. It is here. Now, here's the thing, Alicia. How do I get her off of me? She will go off. She'll come off. She'll, she'll come off by herself? Yes. And they average like a 10 minutes or something to feed. I gotta let her feed on me for 10 whole minutes? Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Dang it. Okay. Well, I, I ain't no, well, at least it's content. I can, I can film it. I can show what's happened to the bite. Is she actually feeding? I think she is. I'm pretty sure she is. It you looks... should start to see her get red. Oh, she is. She's getting red? Yeah. So she's latched on good then. Yeah. Can, can you hold this for me, Emma? Can you hold this jar right here on my arm so I can get a picture of her with my phone? Because this is something I'm not going to do again. you got to hold your hand down further. No, 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 no. Your fingers. Just your fingers. No, no. No, hold them around the rim of the glass. Look, I'll put my finger here. You put your hand here. Put, no, no, no. The other way. No. Oh my God. I am so nervous. I don't want to let this bed bug loose in my house. Look, you got, you got, oh my God. <laughs> All right, look, I want to, I want to, oh, she, I think she's done. She's crawling around. She crawled back into the jar. Did she get something to eat? Yes. But that's all she wanted. She just wanted a snack. Well, she's just a nymph. She's not full grown. She's done. And she turned red. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even get a picture of her doing it. She's well, fat she's now. She is? Yeah, she'll probably shed her skin in there. Well, you're going to have to feed her again so you can get her through the next stage. Shut up. Oh no, she can't lay eggs. She's not full grown. Celeste. Celeste, like, now she'll lay eggs. No, actually she won't. She's not full grown. She has not been inseminated. She's not old enough. So she's just a... She's just a baby. Well, let me get my pen. Let me get my marker, actually. I'm going to draw a circle. So I remember, just in case I don't react from this bug bite. Sharpie. Can I I'll draw a circle on myself with a Sharpie, Mom? Too late. Already did. Okay. Don't trust the child. <laughs> so there is where she bit me. Alright, there's the spot where she bit me. Right there. So we're going to see what happens and if I even react. But I haven't swollen up at all. Not at all. Jennifer said that was more entertaining than any video game. How many weeks old? How many weeks did you have her without her feeding? Uh, about six weeks, maybe seven. It's been a while. I have to look it up. Let me see. I can't remember the woman's name now. Where I, where I actually picked this one up from. Um, let me look. Let me go in and see. I think it was February. I've got to actually search through bed bug work to see when the last one I did. It wasn't a long time ago. Um... Okay, it was, I received this bed bug on the 10th of February. So it has been five weeks, five, five, six, almost six weeks actually, right? Let me see. If I look at my calendar and we'll go from the 10th and we'll go, okay, 10th, one, two, three, four. 
five, six. Yeah, six weeks tomorrow. It'll be six weeks tomorrow is how long I have had this bed bug. And she has not fed in six weeks. This is the first time she's fed. How many weeks? Okay, you'll have to find her a man, says Mallory. I'll be curious how long it takes for a reaction to form, if at all. And Jennifer Lego says, I draw the line at multiplying her. No, I'm not going to multiply her. I don't want to do that. Uh, most times, I wouldn't itch until the next day. So, we'll see what happens. If I get a bug bite or not, I should probably make a video about this. Knowing me, I'll forget, and then I'll have to do it again. So, the poll is over. Out of 36 votes, 69% of the people said to do it. So, I did do it. She did bite me. She is fed. And she is, she is big. I'll tell you what, they get long and skinny when they're fat. When they eat. Like, look at her now. See, she was flat before. Now she's, like, fat. Like, it's it's really hard to tell. But she's, like, see, she's really red. Like, really deep red. And she's, uh, long and skinny instead of round and flat like she was. So we'll put her right here. And she's going to chill. And maybe next week. Next week. We'll see what happens. Amber bit me. She did bite me. She did bite me. Did you miss it, Paper Synth? She bit me. Right here. She gave me a love bite. Did you draw a circle around it? Yeah, look. So that way you can keep I it drew with a Sharpie. With a Sharpie? So it won't wash off in the shower. Not easily. Uh-huh. So. So then you're just going to take pictures and videos every day. Yes. Do you have a spot that you can see visibly where she bit you? No. Not even a blood spot? Like no. Blood? I have no spot on my arm where she bit me at all. But you can see that she ate. Oh, yes. She absolutely ate. I, I mean, she was flat as flat could be. And now she's round and thin. So she's full of blood. So how many days does it take them to shed their skin? Usually a day. She'll probably shed her skin tonight. They'll probably have skin shed in there tonight. If she doesn't have a, a shed skin, I might be wrong, and she might actually be a full-grown adult. But I'm pretty sure she's like fourth in star, because she's not very large. But Celeste said she's surprised how quickly she fed. She hadn't fed in like six weeks. She was hungry. How would you feel if you had to go six weeks without eating? I'd be hungry. I'd have to eat something. I'd have to eat something. So... And this stream has gone on for two hours and 15 minutes. I think it's the longest stream I've had in a very, very long time. So, I'm actually probably going to call it quits. And I'm going to get off of this. And we will see what happens. Unless there's any questions, or unless anybody wants to quickly call or anything like that, I'll give you like another five minutes or so. But Otherwise, I'm going to get off of here. And probably hit over on the Discord and and get made fun of how crazy I was for letting the bed bug bite me. So. It ain't that big a deal. There's only like 32 people in here. Hardly anybody saw that, right? I'm not going to have people like messaging me on Facebook. Hey, I saw you let a bed bug eat you. No one's going to say that. No one knows. No one locally knows I'm crazy. I wish you had a bottle with each stage of the instars. Well, the problem is, is that they die eventually. You know, you got to feed them to keep them alive. And if, once you feed them, they grow. And then they're no longer instars anymore. You ha I mean, I have pictures. I have pictures of different instars and stuff like that. But I don't have any actual, like that I've taken myself. But I don't have any, you know. Now my whole arm is itching. I'm, I'm like paranoid now. It's, it's getting in my head.
tips on traveling please to avoid bed bugs. So I actually have a video on that too. But I recommend if you're going to travel, that's a good thing you can keep in your in your luggage. You can keep a can of aerosol crossfire in your luggage. And that's something you can take with you. You don't have to take a gallon spray or anything like that. But um, I recommend treating your luggage before you leave. Treat the trunk of your car. Um, because you got to think, if you're taking an airplane ride and you put your luggage in the trunk of your car, when you take your luggage away from the hotel and you put it in the trunk of your car, then there's a possibility of transferring bed bugs from your luggage to your car. So you want to treat your car. You want to treat your luggage. I don't ever treat the inside of the luggage bag. I only treat the outside of the luggage. Don't live in the drawers in a hotel or Airbnb or a, or a you know, VRBO or anything like that. Live out of your suitcase. So don't take your stuff out of your suitcase and put it in the drawers of where you're going to live when you're on vacation. Leave the stuff in your suitcase. Or hang the clothes up in the closet. Don't leave stuff in the drawers in someone else's house. Do you understand? Or, or a hotel. Because that's when you're going to get bugs on your clothes and that's when you're going to bring them home with you. Because that's, I mean, that's what happens. Is people take and they unpack and then they risk getting all kinds of stuff in their luggage. So, but hey, you guys have a really great night. I appreciate it. Y'all have just wonderful time. And don't forget, Thursday nights, that's when we live stream. We hang out together and we do crazy stuff like the late bed bugs feed on us. And hopefully we'll find out what happened next week. And you'll know, because I'll tell you. Y'all have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye. If I can figure out how to use this thing. Thank mm -hmm. you.